All right. Very exciting. You ready, Bushetti? Oh, did you comb? Did Whoa. you slick back? Your, <laughs> did you slick back your hair? You too? did. <laughs> you look like uh, Paulie Walnuts or something. Or no, Paulie, I'm nuts. You look like. I think <laughs> I think he looks pretty good. I, I think he looks I, fantastic. Yeah, big. Our, our next our next guest joined us uh, on our set in New Orleans, and now comes to us live from our DirecTV studios in Los Angeles. One of the uh, stars of the new drama series Rogue, which debuts Wednesday, April 3rd on Audience Network. Please welcome actress Leah Gibson. Leah. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? My God, I, I, I could can see I, I can see why you're in show business. You you, you really uh, the camera likes you. Oh well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Where's it? This is, I have to. I have to tell you right now. This is kind of. Do I sound like I'm yelling? <laughs> no. Why? What's the matter? I, well, I hear you, but I don't see you. I've never done this before. This oh, is like a, a Skype experience, but I can't see you. Can I tell you something? Where are you? Can I tell you something? What? The <laughs> best situation for me and a hot chick is for her to hear me and not see me. <laughs> <laughs> so I this, was gonna this, say. This is actually. I was gonna say I'm a. I'm a little nervous right now because I can't actually see you and I have no idea what you're doing. No, this is actually, well, first of all, I'm naked. Uh, no, this is that doesn't surprise me. This is actually a dream situation for a hot chick to just hear my incredible wit but not see my grotesqueness. It's fantastic. No, uh, well, that's Sorry. all right. You're doing fine. You sound great. Well, thank you. Okay, so you're excited well, about Rogue. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. I, I, brought so, I brought something with me right. to make me feel a little bit better about the situation. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Is that Boschetti in New Orleans? Oh, that's very sweet. She kissed you, it's Mike. It's Boschetti somewhere. Yeah, Boschetti, <laughs> Mikey. Mike, Mike, where is that? Was that at the last? Uh... Uh, I don't know where. It's, it's on it's a pitch paradise, wherever it is. I'm not sure, but uh, thank you, Leah. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, Leah, I don't Mikey, know. Mikey, where are you? Why aren't you here? <laughs> now, I, 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 can I get a red eye out to LA? I, I'll come. <laughs> sure. Oh. Now, yeah, Leah, I'll I got for you. I got to tell you, ever since New Orleans, he has not been able to stop uh, talking about you. You really lit his candle. You know what? This is funny because uh, I had someone tweet me tonight when they found out that I was going to be on your show tonight. Right. And he said, Bichetti's going to be excited, but you can't seduce him now because he's in a serious relationship. Well, he is, actually. Well, uh, right, Mike, I mean, uh, you want to respond to no, that? No, no, actually, well, I, no, wait, Leah. Go ahead, finish. Go ahead, Leah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike, are you playing games with my heart? No, anyway, Leah, I would never, no, I no. I'm, I, go ahead, I'm sorry. What I tweeted back, what I tweeted back was... A girl can try, winky face, joking. <laughs> right. This guy, this guy tweeted me back. He's like, "You're a home wrecker. Oh. <laughs> you know, don't, no, no. don't try to ruin a, a happy home." Well, People said, are said, protective. Right of, now, uh, it's not a happy home. Believe me. What's the matter? What happened? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, you know. Gonzo, kaput. It's, You're kidding me. No, it's, Mikey, it's Mikey, Mikey, we need to talk about this. What's going on? Wait a minute. Are you saying this just because Leah's here? Or is no, 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 no. What I, happened? I, I, I told the twins earlier. I always talk to my woman friends first. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened, Mike? I just don't want to talk about it, really. You know, it's uh, well. You talked about it off air. Yeah, but you know, Mikey, we're concerned. No, the girls are one thing. You know what I mean? It's I'm, I'm good. You know. I'm, so I'm, are, are you okay emotionally? Yeah, uh, of course. I can turn it off like a faucet. <laughs> well, that's I'm the most concerned disgusting about thing this, ever. Mikey. Let me tell you, all girls are a piece of work. <laughs> the smart ones. That's true. The smart ones know how to just like keep it quiet. That's true. So, oh, yeah. That's some good advice. Know, I, think Leah's yeah. a, I think Leah's a real friend here, Mike. I she mean, is. Yeah. She's a nice, nice woman, and uh, you're a pleasure in Louisiana, and you're super stunning. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just really <laughs> upset that uh, you wasted all that hair gel, because it's clearly... Uh, Leah, <laughs> Leah if, uh, if you were here and could see the hair gel that he put in, I think I you'd... I wish. Yeah. Now, uh... I wish. We were just in New York. I don't know why we didn't come see you. You're in New York, aren't you? Yeah, that would have been great. You should have come down here to the well, studio. Well, I don't know. I don't know why that didn't happen last week. I, knew, I know. I think anyway. they're, they're protective of you with it when it comes to our studio live, I think. <laughs> uh, so talk about, talk about Rogue. You must be excited. I saw this. This is intense stuff. And really, really well done. You must be proud of this, right? I am. You know, we're all proud of it. Have right. you seen it yet? Yeah, I saw the first one. It's unbelievable. The first one, so the two hours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, you, you talk about exciting. it, you, you're, you look amazing, and it's really intense acting. I mean, you know, uh, what are you, like a method person or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen episode three yet? No. But I'm dying <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, episode three, episode three is like where it gets 
for Kathy and Alec, I play I play Kathy Laszlo, sure. who's like this kind of like tough as nails mob wife kind of to Alec Laszlo, who's Joshua Sass. He was on your show. And you with, really, with I mean, you really pull that off. I mean, because you're not like that at all. <laughs> I mean, you really. I'm not, and I thank you. Yeah, I, thank I mean, you that's a compliment. That. That's yeah. a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I, 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 I thank you. I take that as a compliment. No, it, it would. I've never played a character like this before, you know, and um, that was certainly the appeal for me in the beginning. I didn't know she would kind of. I didn't know she'd turn out to be what she became. Right. And I didn't know that. I didn't know the script was going to go where it goes. And um, and in in the in this what what will air is the second episode. We filmed it as the third, but it will air as the second episode. Is where. I've certainly never gone before. No kidding. Uh, oh. In acting, yeah, because we, we uh, engage in a very <laughs> method love scene, if I you will. I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I, I mean, honestly, yeah. this is a lot of work, too, for people. Like, I worked on, I was a regular on two TV shows, but they were both... Uh, in front of live audiences with like four cameras, it's not nearly the work you guys are doing. I mean, the two-hour one, well, the first that's one. Well, that's a, that's like, a different. That's a different kind of work. Yeah, You're, but I it's, mean, it's to do like, a live sitcom in, in front of an, an audience. I mean, that's an, an incredible amount of work. But it's it, it's a touch of theater, I think. And yeah. this is this is you know with just the crew and just going. But it's not you know it's it's we're not putting on a show. We're just being really vulnerable as the characters, and and it goes to some really dark places. So it does. It's you like, guys, it's really. It's really intimate work you know the sheer hours that you put in I mean it's a, these are long days it's like shooting a movie every week almost you know that's what it felt like yeah and it was a really fast turnaround too because we did uh, we did one episode in six days and oh a TV God. that's a very fast turnaround that is yeah. for yeah. one hour drama yeah one hour dramas yeah. usually because I've, I've guessed it on a couple of them they usually take about two weeks to do right Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the show. But six, six, I've never done a, a six-day turnaround on an episode for TV show. So, so, I mean, everyone was working really hard. I remember, um, you know, nights of Josh and I filming just our husband-wife scenes and starting at 2 in the afternoon and wrapping at 5 in the morning. So, and you're crying and you're fighting and you're having sex and doing all these, like, really like, raw things. and. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's not network TV, that's for sure. It, well, which is... It's a, not which, for the week. Which is a good, uh, a, a good uh, ad, adver advertising for this. It's not network television. That, that makes it sound great to me. So explain real quick, uh, give us a synopsis for the audience of what the show's about. Tell us what we're looking at here. Okay, so the show is based on an undercover cop, Grace Travis, who's played by the wonderful Tandy Newton. Right. And in the, in the beginning of the show, she tragically loses her young son. Uh, in a freak incident, and no one knows how he was, why he was killed. And she becomes obsessed in the grieving process with finding out the answers surrounding her son's death and how that may have, have been related to her line of work. Okay. That she just goes on a mission to find out the answers, and um, she leaves her police force and goes rogue. So she's now undercover, um, but uh, on her own... Accord, and she becomes really tangled up into this infamous crime family called the Lazalos. Right. And um, and just things get complicated, you know, and intimate, and um, she gets morally confused, emotionally confused, and um, and I play Kathy Laszlo, who is, you know, the wife of this hot-headed gangster. Alan you're a mob. Laszlo. You're a mob wife, uh, but you know. I'm, it, uh... I'm a. Sure. I am. I am in a sense. And the, right. You know, people keep, people keep asking me, "Did you watch the show Mob Wives?" Well, no. I, yeah, I don't mean. I don't mean to insult you by saying you're one of those people. <laughs> it's like you know, uh, you, you're an actress playing you know uh, a complicated character. It's not like a nutty. That's true. Right. Right. No. Right. No. And our show, our show isn't about. You know, playing those ideas that you've seen. Um, I mean, our, our show is a cop show, yes, but it's it's much more than a cop show. It's very real and raw, and it, it's kind of taking these classic themes that you've seen portrayed in really famous film and TV shows in the past years, you know, the, the good cops and the bad crime family, and, but it just, it goes so much deeper because you kind of get an insight into each character's worlds, and it's not black and white. It's just various shades of gray, and all of these people are just in these very intense situations and struggling with their own demons and trying to make right and and just move forward and just get on. Yeah. You know, so I, I think that um, I think that it's 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 really gonna draw people in in that sense. I mean that's what I was drawn into I think when so. I first read the script and yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think it's just a more truthful depiction of 
of, of, uh, of a story in that sense. And, and because it's cable TV and we're able to, you know, do the sex and do the violence at, without holding back and, and really, like, showing it. Right. So that, that's just a... Not Another a, to, reason to watch. To call it simply a, <laughs> to call it simply a cop show, yeah, that, that doesn't do it any justice at all. This is a real complicated, real, real thing. It's like a really good movie, you know, every week. How many episodes you do yeah. uh, for the season? We filmed ten episodes wow, that's that a lot we will of work. air in nine pieces. <laughs> yeah, because the season premiere is a is a two hour two hour right, event. Right, right. So the season premiere is coming up uh, Wednesday, April third, on the Audience April Network. Uh, and again, uh, Leah Gibson is the name. Do not miss her. If anything, just for her scenes alone, you're going to want to see this, Mike. Now, uh, Leah, do you have any <laughs> parting advice for Mike Boschetti on the world of uh, of relationships? Oh, Mikey, it's messy. It can get messy. It is, Mike, it is. It's messy. It's, it's brutally, I know. And I know, honey. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but if she's if she's the right girl for you, she'll you know, she'll she'll hang in there and she'll 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 just She'll give you what you need. You need a girl to give you what you need, you know? Now, Leah, do you think there's any and truth it, in the fact that uh, if you love something, set it free and it'll come back if it's true love? You know what? I, I saw this great quote the other day. It says, find what you love and let it kill you. Ah. <laughs> well, I've done that several times. Me too. With pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's what he's Story going through. Life. I think that's stunningly good advice. Uh, so, uh, but, but Mike, I think you should feel free to pick up the phone at any time and call Leah to just oh. chat as friends. I'm right here, Mikey. I'm no, right here. No, that would be great, Leah. We'll, really nice. we'll get you her number. No, I'd love to talk to you. So All sweet. right. Uh, maybe you guys could Skype. Yeah, Skype sounds good. Do you mind Skyping? That'd be better than this. <laughs> Do you mind that would be better than this. It I would, would be. see your face. Well, you get the technology. Do you mind Skyping once uh, or twice a day with Mike? <laughs> twice a day. I mean, just about I'll relationships. see if I can find the time. Okay, I know you're busy with Rogue. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so we have a, a new friend of Mike's on the show. And again, <laughs> Thank you, do Leo. not miss, do not miss the premiere of, uh, of Rogue. Uh, April 3rd on the Audience Network uh, with Leah Gibson, Tandy Newton. Great cast, great show. A sexy show, much like ours. You fit right into the Audience okay. Network because uh, you're on with us and Dan Patrick. Sexy shows. Uh, <laughs> Leah, uh, next time you're in no New York... No one's as sexy as you. Uh, <laughs> next time in New York. Leah, next time you're in New York, you got to come here, please. I hope so. I okay. hope so. All right, great. Let's make it happen. Good luck with everything, and uh, we will talk to you real soon, okay? Thanks, honey. So great to hear you. Yeah, Can't thank you. you. <laughs> now, believe me, it's much better to hear me. Uh, <laughs> Leah Gibson, that's uh, uh, Rogue April 3rd. Thanks. We'll take a break uh, and come back with the rest.